good morning good afternoon good evening depending where you are getting me from welcome to our morning devotion in case you are new here my name is the Lackman Deborah and Choka we do our morning devotion every weekday from Monday to Friday between 5 and 6 a.m. East African time and today our sharing is about do good without expecting any reward in return that is our sharing and our key verse from the book of Matthew chapter 26 verse 6 up to 11 and we're going to sing him on a song number 569 but before that let's pray father in the name of Jesus thank you for the gift of life as we want to do our morning devotion we ask you to be with us help us and let's have a great impact unto our lives in Jesus name we pray and believe amen uh, hymn of song number 569, Pass Me Not, O Gentle Savior. So let's sing together. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others do at calling. Do not pass me by, Savior, Savior, hear my humble cry, while on others do at calling, do not pass me by. Let me at thy throne of mercy find a sweet relief, kneeling there in deep contrition, help my unbelief. Savior, Savior, Hear my humble cry, while on others do at school, do not pass me by, trusting only in thy merit, would I seek thy face? He my wounded broken spirit save me by thy grace Savior Savior hear my humble cry while on others do at school do not pass me by though the spring of all my comfort more than life for me whom have i on earth beside thee whom in heaven but thee Savior, Savior, hear my humble cry, while on others do at school, do not pass me by, yes, so, yes, so, he will go. Um, Korangelia Vantuba and the Tokungetanya Do good without expecting any reward in return is our sharing this morning. Um, and our key verse is from the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 6 up to 11. I'm going to read from my New King James Version. The Bible records. And when Jesus was in Bethany at the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him having an alabaster flask of very costly fragrant oil, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. Then when his disciples saw it, they were 
indigenous saying, why this waste? For this fragrant oil might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Jesus was, uh, but when Jesus was aware of it, he said to them, why do you trouble the woman? For she has done a good work for me. For you have the poor with you always, but me you do not have always. For in powering this fragrant oil on my body, she did it for my burial. Assuredly, I say to you, wherever this gospel is preached in the whole world, what this woman has done will also be told as a memorial to her. This was the anointing of Jesus at Bethany. It was just a few hours to his death. Because that is after this, that is when he was uh, betrayed by Judas and he died. So these were Jesus' disciples at Simon's house. And now this is Mary of Bethany who came with an expensive perfume. He poured it on Jesus' head and feet and anointed Jesus with that uh, expensive perfume. So the disciples were there. These were the disciples, we understand that they were friends of Jesus, very close to him. Maybe they could have done something better than complaining. What came into their mind was like this lady. First, she's a prostitute. Second, this expensive perfume, she could have used it somewhere, even to help the poor. <clears throat> but when Jesus realized what they were thinking, he told them, the lady, what she has done is the best, because she has prepared me for my burial. For me, for you will have the poor with you always, but you will not have me always. So whatever she has done will be remembered uh, in memorial of what she has done. She has done a good job to, my, to myself. So uh, when I was going through this uh, verse, I felt like there's something hidden. You might decide to do something, or maybe you have done something, or you are planning to do something. But when you remember of what, how the reactions of people, how they will react now that you have done this, or you did that something good last time, but people complained about your good act, and you feel like I might not continue doing it because nobody's going to recognize my effort. But I like this uh, Mary of Bethany because she didn't care. She knew, yes, I'm a prostitute, yes. Uh, these are Jesus' disciples. They have been friends. I don't care what they will say, but I'm going to use my expensive perfume to anoint Jesus' head, Jesus' feet. And I'm not going to listen to what they will say. I know they know who I am. But I'm going to do what makes me happy. She just went ahead. She didn't consult anybody who was there. She didn't consult any disciple like, do you know, I have this plan. This is the plan I have. Because I'm very sure, because of their reaction, maybe they could have told her, maybe they could have sent her out of the house. So she went straight to the point and it did what was good for her. Yes, the disciples didn't recognize it as a good act. But whoever it was done to felt like this is the best thing that has been done unto me. These are my friends. We have been together. They have done nothing to me. This, is, this lady has just come to me. She has anointed me with her expensive perfume. And these people are complaining. You might want to help someone. And people will be giving you advice. Maybe sometimes when we listen to advices, uh, different advice, we just unlock our blessings. You go and consult your mother. Mom, I want to help this poor child. Or you consult your sister, or you consult your father, or your brother. Because they feel like people will realize maybe you have money, or you don't have money, or people will be like you're showing off. They will tell you, are you the first one who has gotten money in this world? Why don't you use your money to build yourself? Why don't you use your money to do A, B, C, D? They will just tell you what to do with your money. But... This lady, nobody told her what was she was going to do with this expensive perfume. If you, if you have something and you want to help, do it from your heart without involving a third party. Just do it the way Mary did. She just went direct, poured the perfume on Jesus' uh, head and then the feet. She anointed him without expecting anything but what. Uh, the reaction she got from the 
disciples was just men. They felt like this lady is wasting a lot of money. She could have helped the poor. Those poor people were there. The disciples are there. Even Jesus made, them, made it clear to them, like, you, you are there with the poor people. You can also go into your pockets, help the poor people. Why do you feel bad that this lady, whatever she has done, is wrong? So this morning, I just want to tell each and every one of us who are tuned in, who are tuned in that whatever you want to do, just do it without expecting any reward in return. Simply because it is only God who will see what you have done from your heart. Not those people who are surrounding you. So if you feel like you want to help, just do it in good faith without expecting any return. Because to God, you will just make a permanent, a permanent mark on somebody's life that will remain to be a memorial just like what Mary of Bethan did. So let's understand that anytime we want to do something good, don't look who is next to you. What will be the reaction of this person next to me? Don't think about it. Just understand that God is there. You are doing this because it is from your heart. And the only person who will recognize this is God or Jesus Christ. So do something without expecting any, good, any reward in return. Just like men of Bethany. It doesn't matter who you are. You know some people will be like, me, I, I, me, I, I am a prostitute. I can't help. This lady, she was a prostitute also. But she decided, like, I don't care. I'm doing what makes me happy. I'm, I'm going to apply this perfume on Jesus' head and his feet. So this morning, uh, let's understand that if we want to help, do it from your heart. Don't look on the, around the surrounding and get discouraged because of the reaction of what uh, people would say. Those people who are next to you. So uh, I think this one will make sense into our lives. If you want to help, to do something, do it without expecting end one in return. God will just recognize your work. Even if those people are surrounding you, will not recognize your work. God will recognize it. So thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we do this morning devotion every weekday from Monday to Friday between 5 and 6 a.m. East African time. And uh, I just want to pray that God bless you. Let's continue praying for one another. Let's continue remaining united because our aim is to make this world a better place for everyone. So let's pray as we finish our morning devotion. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for sharing what we've had this morning, Father. We pray that you help us so that we cannot expect any uh, reward in any good deeds we do, Father. You are the one who will recognize our work, Father. They sit in various homes and hostels. We pray that you heal them so that they can continue praising your name, Lord. We pray for our children, wherever they are. We pray that you cover them with the blood of Jesus. Remind them uh, that you are the only God who needs to be washed, Father. We pray for our enemies, friends, or relatives, wherever they are. We pray that you forgive them their sins and remember them in the book of life, Father. Uh, the bereaved families, we pray that you comfort them as they are in their time of sorrow. In a special way, we remember widows, orphans, and widowers, wherever they are. We pray that you provide for them their daily needs as you promised to be their father. We also remember the prisoners. We pray that you forgive them. Give them a second chance. Show them that there is light at the end of the tunnel as they get to form father. We pray for the travelers. We pray that you send your traveling masses so that they may reach their destination as well, father. We pray for Kenya as a country. We pray for peace. Love and unity, Father. We also 